Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. Hope you're all doing great. And I am back once again with another review. And today, in this video, I'm going to review a fragrance from the house of Ahmed Al Maghribi. And this is once again one of their best sellers. And here I'm talking about Bin Sheikh, one of their premium uh, product. And let's start our review without further ado. So let's start with the presentation first, as always. So you'll get this perfume in this box. See how beautiful it is. It's a black box with this beautiful pattern printing on this box with this UV spotting and the name of the perfume printed in gold here, Bin Sheikh. Nothing on the sides. On the top, you'll get the logo of Ahmed Al Maghribi. Nothing in the bottom. And then all the details are here in the back of this box. So this is the paper box, the first box. And then inside this, you will find uh, the real thing, the main box. And here, see how beautiful and majestic it looks. And this perfume is going to remind you uh, the perfumes of Zerjov. The presentation is very similar to Zerjov. Uh, you will find here this material, which gives you feel of leather. I'm not sure if this is pure leather or if it's a synthetic leather, I think it's uh, like Chinese synthetic leather. But anyways, the finishing and everything is so good. And it gives you that real leather feel with the name of the perfume here, printed in gold once again. And then nothing on the sides, nothing on the top or bottom in the back, nothing. And when you open this box, you have to lift this part and see same like Zerjov. You will find this beautiful velvet here inside and these butter papers wrapping your perfume. And once you remove them, uh, you will find your beautiful bottle resting here. And now let me show you the bottle. And here we go. The bottle is beautiful, it's gorgeous. See the color of juice, ambery, golden, with a thick glass base and this beautiful uh, curves on the bottle and the shape of the bottle is like this you can see from the bottom there are cuts on all over the bottle the cap here is golden made of metal and it's quite heavy and then you will find this beautiful atomizer and the scent is beautiful it's beautiful so this was about the presentation and by the way here on the top of the cap you will find engravings of Ahmed Al Maghribi's logo uh, just the name of the perfume here, uh, Bin Sheikh, and the logo of Ahmed Al Maghribi here in gold. Nothing else on the bottle. Very elegant. So this was about the presentation and now I will try to explain you how this perfume actually smells. So first of all, there is no breakdown available anywhere on the internet. Not on their official website, not on Fragrantica, not in their Instagram pages, nothing. So whatever I'm going to tell you is from my personal experience. So let's start the review of the fragrance. So first of all, the main DNA of this perfume is based on Oud for Greatness. And Oud for Greatness, as you all know, is based on Baccarat Rouge 540. So this is something in between Baccarat Rouge 540, or you can say this is more towards Thomas Kosmala because I can smell more florals here as compared to uh, Baccarat Rouge. So let's say Baccarat Rouge or Thomas Kosmala, whatever, uh, and Oud for Greatness. Just reduced burn rubber note here. So in the base, you will get that Thomas Kosmala and Oud for Greatness kind of vibes with added saffron and Oud. So in the opening, definitely you will get that Oud for Greatness kind of vibe with a very strong punch of Oud and very strong and very prominent note of saffron here. Then you will also smell some rose some jasmine in the midst and then in the base you will get a lot of amber wood and then after all these things you will also get a very beautiful and prominent note of cardamom which comes in the second phase around after like 20 to 30 minutes of the application of this perfume so the cardamom will comes in and another beautiful thing which i experienced in this perfume and which i love a lot is smoky incense and along with spicy amber so a lot of things are happening here a very complex scent very beautiful scent yes in the base there is that uh, famous dna but still the way they have pulled it out it's amazing it's so 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 beautiful highly 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 recommended to test 
don't blind buy go try it out and i'm sure you are definitely going to love it the price of bakra truch is around 600 to 700 dirhams and here uh, this quality is really exceptional the blending is so smooth so rounded and very well done top notch quality no cheap feel here everything is royal the oud used here is very premium it gives you that premium feel and even the other notes like rose jasmine and amber everything gives you that feel of quality here so this is how this perfume actually smells and in your whole journey i cannot break it further because it's a complex scent and different people will get different experience as per their nose i have uh, told you about the notes about the nuances i can smell here saffron is very prominent smooth warm spicy and rounded oud it's strong it's not barnyardish but it's sweet little bit uh, you can say uh, woody but definitely you will get that strong oud feel uh, feel of oud hindi it's more leathery and it's smoky incensey with some florals here and ambery that accord of spicy amber complex scent very interesting and something worth to try so this was bin sheikh uh, the fragrance and uh, now we will talk about the performance so performance wise the longevity of this perfume is 1.5 to 2 days easily on your clothes even on your skin around minimum 10 hours whatever kind of skin you have if you will not wash it it's going to stay on your skin for minimum 10 hours 10 hours is the minimum mark so projection once again so loud it's a beast kind of perfume it performs like a beast and people around you they are going to love it because it projects but still it gives you that smoothness in the air you know that feel of this fragrance is very smooth so performance no issue here 10 by 10 and for the gender it's a unisex scent it's a strong complex scent but i think arab ladies they can pull it off easily and if the ladies in our region if they like oud if they like these kind of uh, perfumes like oud for gloriness bakarat rouge uh, type of scents they are going to love it this is something beautiful and for age group this is not for youngsters or not for teenagers and not for someone who's very uh, who's like a, a beginner in this game if you are familiar with oud if you like complex fragrances then you can try it but if you are someone who like cool water then stay away from it so this is about the age group and now let's talk about the season or weather so this perfume can be used all year around in arab countries but in my country or in our countries like india bangladesh pakistan i think it's going to rock in cold weather and now let's come to the occasion so in weddings in your wedding on the dates and some some very special moments don't wear it every day no it's not that kind of scent the feel of this perfume is very rich very royal like uh, you will feel like a rich man once you will uh, once you will apply it you will feel like a rich sheikh from a gulf country it have that royal kind of feel so amazing scent use it in some very special occasions and occasion can be anything if it's special you can use it while it's dinner clubbing or whatever but if it's special then use it and now let's come to the price so this perfume comes in 90 ml quantity with Ude Parfum concentration EDP concentration and the price of this perfume is 200 UAE dirhams and this perfume is available in Pakistan I am going to put the the number of the person who's dealing with Ahmed Al Maghribi directly so you can find it easily in Pakistan, in India, I think Sikandar Zari Bhai is dealing with them. And in Bangladesh, I think Nadir Bhai from uh, Arabian Shelf will be the right person uh, to contact for this perfume. Bin Sheikh from the house of Ahmed Al Maghribi. So this was my review about this beautiful perfume. I hope you like this review. Until the next video, take care and bye.